Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to compute derivatives of logarithmic and exponential functions. Here are the derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. As you can see, they're pretty simple, so this will help make memorizing them a lot easier. Let's see our first example. We want to compute the derivative of 1 half times log base 5 of x. First, we will use the multiplication by a constant rule and pull out the 1 half. Next, we want to compute the derivative of log base 5 of x. We recall the derivative of log base a of x and plug in 5 for a. Finally, we simplify this and get 1 over 2x times ln of 5 as our answer. Next example, we want to compute the derivative of negative 4 times e to the x plus ln of x. We can first use the sum difference rule to break this derivative into 2. Now we will compute the derivative of negative 4 times e to the x first. We will use the multiplication by a constant rule and pull out a negative 4. Next, we recall the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x, and we'll plug that in. And now we can compute the derivative of ln of x. We recall the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. And now we can add these derivatives together and get negative 4 times e to the x plus 1 over x as our answer. Last example, we want to compute the derivative of ln of x over x. Since we want to compute the derivative of a function divided by another function, we can use the quotient rule. We will apply the quotient rule where f equals ln of x and g equals x. Now we want to compute the derivative of ln of x first. Recall the derivative of ln of x, which is just 1 over x. Now we'll compute the derivative of x. Using the power rule, this equals 1. We plug in the derivatives back into the solution. Finally, we simplify this answer and get 1 minus ln of x all over x squared, our answer. Computing derivatives of logarithmic and exponential functions is not too hard because their derivatives are simple. But for more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolapp.com and click on the Practice tab.